Good morning, this is Rai Kuro. My name is Rai Abu Khalid. I'm one of the shareholders in the Lash Blast Cosmetics. Hi, I'm Casey Jones, and I'm also a shareholder in Lash Blast Cosmetics. Hi, I'm Fatima al -Fashke. I'm an assistant of the CEO in Lash Blast Cosmetics. Hi, my name is Sarah Amihtar, and I am the board director of finance at Lash Blast Cosmetics. Good morning, my name is Brandon Diaz, and I'm the CEO of Lash Blast Cosmetics. My name is Hassan Jamari. I'm the creator of Idol Lash. Have you ever been in a group where you felt that you had to go along with the majority, even though you did not agree with the decision? If yes, then you had, have experienced what we call groupthink. In this video, we are going to be showing you the concept of groupthink and how, and how it can affect the corporate governments and their decision-making progress. So guys, where do we stand on this new product, Idol Lash? I think it's time we should start pushing it out. The promotion has taken six months and the shareholders are calling me driving me nuts. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree with Brandon. We made we made sure this product is special and unique and we think it's, it's time to promote this product. I mean, are you sure about this? I mean, like, have you guys tested this product yet? Because all what I know is that we haven't got like a lot of feedback from the people that we tested the products on. And you know that we have like you know, rules that we have to follow before we support like products out on the market. Well, I think I should call the publicist anyways because we spent six months on the product, the shareholders are driving me nuts, and we can't put any more time, more money into this without getting any anything in return. And what's special about this product? It's a makeup, and at the same time, it helps your eyelashes grow. I mean, okay, if that's what you guys want to do. I mean. Okay, Fine. so I'll have my assistant call the publicist this afternoon. Perfect. Okay, Oh my god, like I'm having a really, really bad day today. Like, bad day. Like, okay, hold on, let me call back. Yeah, I'll call back. Oh my god, I just got up of this meeting and they just wanted to go ahead and put the product out in the market, but they haven't even tasted the product yet. Well, have you tried to sell something? No, I mean, I wanted to, but you know, still was like, no, we have to do it, we have to do it, we have to do it. And then the other guys, like, agreeing with him, so I mean, what can I say? Yeah, but you know, the company has been here for like 20 years, and you know that we have like rules and process we have to follow before we put any products in the market. And I don't think that they're taking this in consideration. And I don't know, you know, when they put the product in the market and it doesn't work, I don't know what they're gonna tell the shareholders. I don't know how they're gonna respond to that. But you know, what can you do? What can you do here? Exactly, like I couldn't say anything. Like I want to say a lot of things in the meeting, but I mean, he wasn't letting me say anything at all. He was just like, no, we have to do it, we have to do it, we have to do it. Okay, you wanna do it? This he made this decision. It's magical. It's not about this, it's about, you know, the name of the company. They wanted to put, like, products in the market and they don't even know what's gonna happen. Like, you have to first test the product, get a feedback, you know, see in which market we're gonna put it before you do this stuff. And they just wanna go ahead and... And, you know, he said that he's gonna, mm -hmm. ask, he's gonna ask you to call the publisher. Like, I don't think we're there yet. I mean, you know, when you call the publisher, you know, I'm sure like Rick is gonna come up with ideas, and then we're gonna have to start promoting the the the, 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 the product. I know it sounds bad, but he made the decision. He is gonna take the responsibility. Yeah, no, but I think it should be like all of us decisions, and you know, he should have like you know, take what I have to say, and he didn't even wanna listen to me. He just wanted to do what he wants. You know, I'm head of the board of finance, so. If this doesn't work, if we put the product in the market and it doesn't make enough money or we don't have people buying it, then it's going to be coming to me. We have this product that we trusted you guys with to put out on the market. It's not selling. We have people complaining about how it's affecting them medically, their eyes. People are coming back with horrible reviews. What is going on and why did you put it out on the market if it wasn't ready? Well, we didn't expect the reviews and we didn't expect the people were complaining about their eyes and whatnot. We spent six months working on the product, uh, mostly mass production of the product. Um, I'm, I guess we didn't just test it enough. I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't test it enough. Did you? How many people did you test it? Like, what did your team actually do? 
I thought we sent it to the lab. I thought we had did all the took all the proper procedures and measures to get it tested, but apparently not. If you guys can just accept our apology, we'll get back to it. We'll work on it. Well, who was assigned to that part? Who was assigned to making sure that everybody got that tested and everybody was okay with it? Really, it just goes to the production team, but I have to take the full responsibility for it as a CEO. And the results that we got from the testing, it, it was good. So we, we made sure that it's time to produce, to promote the product. What is good? Obviously, look, obviously we didn't test the product enough and we'll get back to it, I promise you. We have to take it off the market for a few months, get back to testing it, mass production, and we'll get back on this, I promise you. You guys just stick with us, we'll make it work. Guys, we are the shareholders. We are trust you to make a good decision on behalf of all the shareholders. I understand that, and if you guys just please stick with us, stick with this product. We've worked hard for on Idolash for months, almost years now, and we're gonna continue to make this work, I promise. Give us another chance, I mean, we promise. I hear you guys complaining about how you spent so much time and you spent so much money on this, but what about us? We're the ones who are helping you guys and giving you guys the money and the things that you need to make sure that this product is on the market. We trust you guys. What makes you think that we shouldn't go to another company and, and have them market something for us rather than sticking with you guys and, and trusting you? Well, really, the market is crazy about this idea. We, we could just make it work. We could take it back to the lab, test it, give it, get it to our scientists, we can make this work, I promise you guys. Just give us one more chance. I guess what we can do is we can try and recover it. We'll give you guys the next six months to see what you can do as far as recovering this. If the sales don't come up, we're gonna have to pull it off the market because we don't want any more complaints. And as far as you as a company, you shouldn't even want that look on your company. So do what you have to do in six months. If it doesn't work out like that, we might have to retalk our, our contract and our agreement with you guys. Thank you guys so Thank much you. for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. As you see in this video, the CEO made the decision to put, to put the product in the market when the product wasn't ready yet to be put in the market. And as a result, the shareholders were happy with this decision and made them unsatisfied with the company. That's why it is important to make sure that groupthink doesn't interfere with the corporate governance.